Hey YouTube, what up? This is Brian Easy coming at you guys today with a review of Zalman. Yes, Zalman, it's new M300 optical gaming mouse. Now, I am going to be giving this mouse away, so if you want a chance to win this mouse, please click this video here, subscribe, and comment on this video for a chance to win this optical gaming mouse. But let's get on with the review, guys. So, the M300, it is the budget king, maybe. Well, can it be crowned the budget king? That's what we're going to find out today, the budget king of gaming mouses. Because this mouse can be had for only $15. Okay, guys, so first off, you'll see that the box is really small. My hand is actually bigger than the box. So that is a really small box. And, obviously, it's just got the mouse, pretty much. It has a six-month warranty, so I'm buying this from Japan, they give you a six-month warranty. I'd say it wouldn't differ anywhere else in the world. Now, this mouse, so let's unbox it, guys, and see what we get inside. So, really easy to unbox, so take the box out, bang. You've got the mouse there, which comes out just like that. So, here it is, guys, this is the mouse, the Zalman M300. Now, my hand is a good 20 centimeters, so I have a pretty large hand, guys. Keep that in mind. So, this mouse fits, it feels alright straight away. This is the first time I'm feeling this mouse. It feels alright, guys. It boasts. Let's see what it boasts straight up. It has on the fly DPI switching, which is on the left here. It's got two programmable buttons here on the left as well, and that's also good for uh, Google Chrome and Internet Explorer when you're browsing. You can go back and forth with those. It's got a red LED to let you know that the mouse is on, which we'll be seeing testing later. And it's got your uh, two standard buttons here with your scroll lock button in the middle. So these buttons are rated at 5 million clicks, guys. Just for a piece, just for an example, Logitech's mouse, uh, G400, for example, is rated at 10 million clicks. So you are getting half the click life when you get this mouse. But keep in mind it is only $15. So, let's keep let's look at it now on the mouse pad. Okay guys, here is the Zalman M300 turned on. So, firstly looking at the mouse guys, it looks good. So, if, as you can see, here's the mouse on the mouse pad. It's on a Razer Goliath's Control Edition. I am in need of a new mouse pad pretty soon. So, <laughs> but let's look at this guys. This mouse on the mouse pad feels great. It really does feel good. Now, this mouse, guys, it has four feet here. So it's got four little feet, so one foot on each corner of the mouse. And it feels like it's Teflon. And it feels good, guys. So it is good. It is a good mouse. And as you can see, the optical sensor is pretty strong. So it has a strong red optical sensor. It also has this cool little red light here, which lets you know that the mouse is turned on which is a cool little feature, especially for $15. Now, let's have a look at the clicks of the mouse, guys. Firstly, clicking the mouse. The clicks on the mouse feel pretty... How would I say it? Unique. So, the, it, it's a solid click. It is a pretty solid click. Now, it's... I'm guessing, like, it's not like the Logitech's click at all, so it feels different to a Logitech click and a Microsoft click. And it also feels different to a razor click. So here's also a little quick size comparison, guys. So if anyone's trying to say that the Zalman M300 is a palm grip mouse, guys, that is a load of rubbish. It is a claw grip mouse. So as you can see, my hand here, I am claw gripping this mouse. Here is the Logitech G400, which is a palm grip mouse. So please keep that in mind. Now, I'm not going to compare the two mouses because they're completely different. Now. This mouse here, the, Logi uh, the Zalman M300, is a sturdy mouse. So let's try and crush this mouse. So the durability of this mouse is pretty good. So as you can see, I'm not going to crush the buttons, but the actual mouse feels pretty damn sturdy. Surprisingly, it is, it, it is overall looking at to be a well-built mouse. Now the plastic, this here is a reflective black surface. And this here is a matte black plastic with grey buttons on these two buttons and also a grey grey sort of styled scroll lock. Now, these it does have on the fly DPI switching here as I mentioned before. That works really well and the buttons are really small so they do not get in the way. So if you are clicking normally these two buttons are not going to get in the way guys. As are these buttons not going to get in the way either as you're claw gripping here. 
And these buttons here, these two buttons here, are very solid. They're, they need a little bit of pressure, so you're not going to accidentally click them, I don't think. Now, overall the mouse feels awesome for claw gripping. So I'll state it again, this mouse is for RTS, guys. The movement on this mouse pad feels really awesome as well. So I'm moving this mouse around on my computer, it feels really good. It feels, and this is a soft control edition mouse pad, so keep that in mind. Now, the DPI on this mouse, it goes all the way up to 2,500 guys, that's all you're going to need. Also, the reports per second on this mouse is 500 reports per second. So, it's, obviously this G400 is 1,000, but that's a $40 mouse. The Zalman is a $15 mouse with 500 reports per second, which is a 2 millisecond response time. So in other words, it is a really good mouse for $15. So all over, all up guys, all in all, this mouse is highly recommended. The only thing I can fault on this mouse, the only thing that I do not like, is the cord length. Uh, this cord length is only 1.5 meters, and at the moment I've plugged, I've plugged this mouse right up to a USB hub, which is going right up to the mouse pad pretty much, so... That's so I don't have any problems sort of gripping it and sort of testing its feel. So yeah, the, the cord is really short in my opinion, but that's not such a big deal if you have a USB hub or if your desktop is right next to your table. So all in all guys, it is a extremely good valued mouse. It feels good. It weighs in at 88 grams, which not surprisingly is the same weight as the Logitech G3, which I thought was awesome for RTS as well. And, well, I do think it's just the awesome RTS mouse. And, yeah, it is a great mouse, guys. I cannot fold it at all besides the cord. The cord is, and then the cord itself is actually pretty sturdy. So if we look at the G400, it's exactly the same as the G400 in terms of durability and strength. So there you go, guys. There you have it, the Zalman M300. If you're thinking of buying this mouse and you wish to play RTS and maybe a bit of FPS casually and a bit of MMO, because you do have these programmable buttons here. I don't know. I don't think these pro these DPI buttons program. I don't know if they're programmable, but you definitely have two buttons here that are programmable. A scroll lock, which is programmable. And you've got your two solid mouse buttons, which the click does feel really good. After clicking this mouse a dozen times, or, you know, after clicking it a heap of times, it is a very good click, and you can get used to it. It is a nice click. The scroll lock, let's have a look lastly at the scroll lock. So, that that feels really, no, that feels just normal. It's a normal, like it's not, you know, it, it doesn't slip, as you can see. It's not slipping, so it's actually really good. And the click on the mouse is solid too. It's a nice, easy click. So that's something you can rely on too. So there you go, guys. For $15, I think Zalman have really hit a budget king here. As their cases, I know their cases are really good value for money. And I think they've hit the mark here as well by providing a really good quality product at a great price. So if you guys were thinking of buying this and you're an RTS competitive or you want to get competitive at RTS, then this mouse is highly recommended. Also guys, don't forget to comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions about this mouse. And of course, if this video helped you in purchasing or if it helped you in sort of deciding whether to get the Zalman, then please thumbs up this video. Also, I am giving away this video, uh, this, I am going to give away this mouse guys. For, so for a chance to win this mouse, Please click on the contest video, which I'll put here, in the links here, and just please go onto this contest video. Also, subscribe to my channel and comment on the contest video for a chance to win the Zalman M300. Okay, guys, anyway, that's it for today. So, Brian Easy Review done.